Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Let me show you a really fun and cool trick called the parallax. Now, parallax is a very popular effect that you can add to your website because it adds a level of dimension and a really nice special effect to your website. In 90 Second Website Builder, it's super easy to add a parallax. Parallax is part of the settings for a layer tool. So let me show you a few examples of some parallax layers that I've made. As we scroll down this page, you can see we get to a layer here. This is a layer that has a background image of a keyboard and it's set for relative horizontal sizing. What that means is no matter how big the uh, browser is, this layer is going to fill the full width of the window. That's what relative horizontal sizing does. And you can learn about that more in the layer video. In other words, a layer that fills the screen. But what the parallax does is it gives it this three-dimensional scrolling feel. Basically, as I scroll down the page, you'll notice that the image moves at a slightly slower speed. And that's what gives it its depth and dimension. And so all we've done is create a layer, chosen an image, and click the button that says we want it to be parallax, and this is what it looks like. It's really that simple. There's a lot of cool effects you can do with parallax. Let me show you a few others. I'll scroll down the page and show you. Now here's one where we did not use a relative horizontal sizing because it doesn't fill the screen. So you don't have to fill it. You can use this in any layer of any size. And you'll notice how the effect works is largely determined by the kind of image that you use. So we still have the same effect, but you'll notice as we scroll down, we start to see more sky because that's the kind of image that it is. But that's what the parallax offers. Let me scroll down and show you another effect. Here I've got two layers next to each other horizontally, and they're both set to be full width or relative horizontal sizing, but they're the same image. And so when we do this, we actually create an effect, sort of a double parallax, if you will, where we can put content in between. So this is its own layer. This is its own layer, each with the same image, but we've just created some space between them so we can have an area for more content or whatever we want to do with that. Now, because these are just layers, we don't have to leave them empty with just background images. We can still put content in these layers like you would any other content. You can put text, images, buttons, links, videos, forms, anything you can put in a layer, you can put in a layer that has a parallax effect in the background. Let's go ahead and scroll down the page and look at another one. So here's another really nice parallax. Again, it's full page, the full width of the page, so it's relative horizontal sizing. And it's got its text right here in the foreground, which does not move the same speed as the background. You can see it stays static. And the background is the part that is the parallax. The background is the part that moves at a slightly different speed. Let's continue down the page and you'll see another cool effect. This is basically a layer with a parallax image and then a copy of that layer right over here. But because this is a really big image, it's about 1280 pixels wide, we get two different views of the image. It was so easy to do. I just chose an image that was 1280 pixels wide, a really big image. And by splitting it into two different layers, we have this really great full dimensional effect. And again, of course, we have that scrolling effect. And you can do it with um, multiple layers and multiple images and create your own effect. The possibilities are almost endless and limited only by your creativity. But let me show you sort of a practical use of this. Let me close this and I'll show you, first of all, how it's done. And then I'll show you a practical use. To make a parallax, first of all, we have to make a layer. So we grabbed the layer tool and drew a box out here and we ended up with this layer. I'm gonna double click on it and show you. For this particular layer, I chose relative horizontal sizing. That's what makes it fill the browser window from left to right infinitely. But where we set the parallax is under the style because the parallax is actually part of the background. And in this case, we have to have an image. Parallax is always based on an image. I simply chose an image from my desktop. In this case, I found an image that was about 1200 pixels wide and it's the image of a keyboard, as you can see. But to make this be parallax, it couldn't be simpler. I just go to the size configuration and I chose parallax from the pull down listing. That's all there was to it. So I made a layer with an image background. I chose parallax and when you click OK, it's all done. Now let me show you how I use this particular parallax on my website in more of a practical way. It's actually on the very first page of 90 Second Website Builder. Here's that design here. 
So we're in the design mode of this page, and this is that very layer we're talking about. If we double click on it, you can see it's got that same image and it's set for parallax. I've also got it set for relative horizontal sizing, and I'm centering the contents as well. But I did another little trick on this one. I also created another layer down here. This is another layer. Now it doesn't have parallax. What I did with this layer is I made it semi-transparent. Let me double click on it and show you. This is just a regular layer. There's no parallax here. In fact, I made it a gradient color. It could have been a solid color too if I wanted. But what I did was I made it opaque by 40% right here. So in other words, we can kind of see through this layer. And what I ended up with is a layer on top of a layer that has a parallax. So when we scroll through this, you're going to kind of see a little bit of that parallax effect behind this one because of its semi-transparency. The other thing that I did is I put another layer down here with that exact same parallax effect and image. So it looks like the keyboard continues down the page. So let me show you what this looks like. If you've been to the 90 Second Website Builder website, you've seen this, but that's kind of the behind the scenes of how I did it. So what we're going to do is scroll down, watch the parallax effect, and you can see that it's sort of see-through down there. So here's the regular layer, the one that's got a carousel spinning there. And then this layer runs all the way down behind this layer, which is semi-transparent or 40% opaque. And you can see the parallax behind that. So that's just kind of something I did just to add some creativity to the page. And if we scroll down, you can see we've also got more parallax. And I've got my testimonials appearing as we scroll. So that's just a fun use of a tool that not only adds a level of professionalism to your website, but it's super easy to do in 90 Second Website Builder.